Hello everyone. As I have told you in one of my previous videos, Wizard of the Coast will be releasing a new product. This new product will probably be replacing the From Default series. This new product will be called Signature Spellbook and we will have a Signature Spellbook for every major planeswalker in Magic the Gathering. On June 15, 2018, we'll have the first Signature Spellbook released and this one will be the Signature Spellbook of Jace. Today I'm going to show you the cards that will be available in this Signature Spellbook and from the spoilers that I have seen, I believe that finally Wizard of the Coast have created a targeted product that will be hyping a lot of collectors and a lot of fans of Jace, the Planeswalker. The first card that will be available in this signature spellbook it's the mythic Jace Bellerin Planeswalker and as you can see the art for Jace Bellerin didn't change but the card frame and a lot of details in the card have changed a lot. One thing to notice is the card frame, especially the bottom part of the card frame where you have the Azor collar and the holofoil that are different and also the planeswalker counters that is different from the usual planeswalker cards. Another thing to notice is the top part of the card where you have the mana symbols and for the first time the mana symbol for blue have changed and is a background color of white on blue. These minor things are changes in the look and feel of the card for the cards in the signature spellbook. The second card that will be available in the signature spellbook is Counter Spell, which will be released in a rare and obviously Counter Spell is the stable and the most used Counter Spell card in Magic the Gathering that have been reprinted multiple times from the set of Alpha and obviously it counters target spell. The third card that will be available is Blue Elemental Blast, also in rare and as you can notice all signature spellbook cards there will be 8, 1 place walker and 7 spells all cards feature new art and in every new art you will have, in this case, the Planeswalker and in this case is Jace. The next card is Mystical Tutor, also featuring Jace. Threads of Disloyalty, featuring Jace in the background. Brainstorm, another famous and staple card in blue control decks. Gifts Ungiven, a very important blue card from the set of Champions of Kamigawa. Negate, that counters target non creature spell, an excellent counter for Planeswalker. And these are the eight cards that will feature in the spellbook signature of Jace. Another thing to notice is that the spell books will have a random foil card of these eight cards and this will feature in one eight of the sets released. Therefore, and maybe this is something that I need to critic Wizard of the Coast, but also on the other hand it's a genius move, it's a lottery card 
it's a lottery system where you buy your pack your book you open your book and you have a one on eight chance to find a foil card obviously the foil card could be the mythic jays the rare cards or also the common cards as I said the signature spell books will feature the most important and famous planeswalker in Magic the Gathering soon we'll have a signature spell book for Liliana and I'm one of those players that can't wait to see the Liliana signature spell book I'm one I'm a big fan of Liliana and therefore I think I will buy the Liliana spell book also there will be Chandra, Nissa, Gideon and I think Gideon will be the next one that is going to be released and most probably other planeswalkers all will feature different art staple cards for death carriers with the planeswalker in the background of the art the price of the signature spell book the MSRP is $19.99 but I'm already seeing this set being offered at $40 to $50 it is quite high but you have to remember that with the lottery card system of the foil card a signature spell book could be valued $100 to $150 but also could be valued $10 to $20 therefore be aware when buying this set if you want to, to buy one book for collection go ahead but don't spend a lot of money on buying the signature spell book MSRP of 20 I think that is the recommended price and I would stick to the recommended price leave me a comment below what do you think about the signature spell book they are worth the money they are worth buying them and keeping them for collection will these sets go up in values Click like to my video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting video about Magic the Gathering.